Hello, uh, my name is Deborah Navarro Rosenblatt. I'm presenting on behalf of the Ministry of Health, Department of Health Technology Assessment uh, from the Health Planning Division. My colleagues are Christian Mancilla, Paula Garcia Celedon, Javira Paseco, Pacheco, and Dino Sepulveda. And I'm going to present uh, the, a multi step evidence synthesis for policy making process, a novel methodology to inform large scale health policies in Chile, the national plan for childhood obesity. As background, um, the, mini the Ministry of Health developed a national plan for the prevention of, of childhood obesity for the next decade. This because um, in the last uh, national health surveys and in the OECD uh, data, Chile have shown that we have high, uh, one of the highest rates of obesity in all age groups. Um, obese children are more, uh, we know because um, we have also data from uh, public and preschool associations uh, and together with other studies uh, that have shown that um, a ch a childhood obesity is, is also very high and one of the highest in the world. We know that obese children are more likely to be ob obese adults and obesity is related to several chronic diseases. And this uh, is connected with high income expenditure in obesity related uh, illnesses. In this presentation, uh, we will report the methodology used to inform the design and implementation of this process, uh, where scientific evidence was used in each of the five te steps that we developed in this methodology. The aim of our department was to provide support in which intervention should be prioritized in the national plan, obesity plan. The methodology of this process um, uh, have had five phases. The first was to define the problem. What was the problem? Um, for this, we had several meetings with the health policy division where um, we agreed that the problem we wanted to target was uh, child obesity uh, with a cutoff of um, children, preschool children younger than six years old. The second phase uh, was to identify and, uh, factors that will explain the problem. For this, um, we build a causal diagram with multi-focus approach. For this, we did a, a scope review of related frameworks. We, we analyzed the proposal from the, mini, uh, from the health policy division. We also reviewed several recommendations from uh, uh, NGOs and charities that work with obesity and obesity, uh, obesity related policies like the World Obesity Foundation, the World Cancer Research Fund, American Heart Association, among others. Uh, after uh, developing this uh, coastal framework, we searched for each of the factors uh, to be able to identify uh, sub factors that will explain the factors. It's more key here. So the, well, the factors that we identify that will explain obesity are intake, uh, physical activity, breastfeeding, metabolism, energy balance, sedentarism, mental health, and perinatal factors. When we identify the factors, um, we were not able to identify sub factors for mental health. So that's why mental health is um, with a lighter blue, because we did not search for sub factors for mental health. Uh, after identifying the factors, we went to identify uh, uh, these sub factors. And this is an example of these sub factors that, the, the, that, ident uh, that determine physical activity. Uh, these are in Spanish because there are many of them, but I just wanted to highlight that the one in green were the ones that were prioritized by the policy division from the ministry. Although we identify several, we had to work with the ones that were a priority for the ministry. Um, the third phase was to identify the interventions that will tackle the factors and the sub factors. Uh, we conducted six scoping reviews using Medline and Embase, using Ovidas or Virtual Library. We developed searches by factor and focus on, on systematic reviews for each, um, for each um, factor and sub-factors. 
Uh, we identify the evidence using a classification uh, of title and abstract, and then when we identify um, articles that were uh, according to the needs we, we were looking for, we read the full text. Each of the intervention must contain at least one of one systematic review to justify its inclusion. Uh, this is the Prisma uh, flowchart. We identified 6,670 um, hits. Uh, we included uh, at the end 260, for which we read full text. Um, Oh, uh, 296. And, and, and the results of our search. Um, we search all the possibility of the possible uh, sub-factors having identified them. We evalu evaluated the effect of each uh, intervention on obesity. Uh, Intake. As I mentioned before, the, the, the sub-factors that we had to prioritize were the ones with green, because we showed this to the uh, policy division and they had to prioritize because we could, for, for time, because we have time problems and it was a policy that had to be done in, in a certain uh, schedule. We had to prioritize the, the ones that were according to, to the policy makers. So, for, so the green ones are the ones who ha we had to prioritize, but um, all the red ones are the ones that we identified. Same for breastfeeding, we we prioritize uh, these two. Uh, a perinatal factor, we realized that we're not we're very connected to other factors. So at the end, we did not prioritize any of these ones. Uh, same for metabolism. <clears throat> um, in the phase uh, the, uh, four. We evaluated the interventions with evidence. Uh, we did a review of the literature based on the systematic uh, review results. Uh, we identified primary studies that tackle the relevant uh, question when we needed to search for the primary studies uh, after looking at the systematic reviews. We extract and, and did meta-analysis of quantitative data. Uh, and we show this in, in summary of funding tables using a great methodology. Our summary tables include size and direction of the effect, meta-analysis, as well as evidence certainty. Uh, these are the hits we had in the sub factors. And this is, well, you probably, you will probably know about great. So this is the evidence certainty we use. Uh, and for the fa uh, uh, phase five, if we evaluate the implementation of the interventions. Um, as a conclusion, this is one um, one of the uh, an example of our um, tables. Uh, for example, a public drinking a water fountain show these results. And same for uh, nutrition education, which we show that there was very little effect, basically no effect in most of them, but, and the, the certainty was low to moderate. And the conclusions. The Chilean government is working to develop a national obesity plan, which will include some of the interventions that show possible results. This novel methodology shows that it's possible to apply a structured and systematic method to policy making, providing to stakeholders a unique tool for implementing evidence-based medicine in decision making. But we had quite a few challenges. We had to communicate with policy makers, with the policy division. We were very strict with time and we also needed more human, well, that's part of the limitations. We, or unit, it's our department is very limited in human resources. So we had to hire extra human resources, extra people to work with us and work under pressure and under time. And we, need, we needed to communicate this to the people making the decisions. Um, and under, we, we had to show uh, and explain the methodology and show that we had also a, a structure methodology and they had to uh, choose their political priorities. So to have that a, um, in a meeting to decide that was quite a limitation because sometimes we didn't speak the same language. 
uh, but it was for us it was uh, very challenging to um, to be able to do this and we were very happy with the results because at the end of the day we show that we could work uh, with evidence-based methodology uh, in in a, in a plan that is so important for the country. Thank you.